Welcome to the studio, it's Froyle here. I'm so glad you've joined me. This week we're going to be creating multi-layered jelly prints, beautiful textured surfaces using stencils in the fabulous theme of Art Deco. Now why am I looking so absolutely gorgeous? It's because this coming week is the Art Deco Festival in beautiful Napier, New Zealand and before the crowds descend on this fabulous city, Mum and I decided we were going to take one of the vintage car tours, the highlight tour of the fabulous buildings around Napier in the gorgeous Art Deco style. Now some of the main characteristics of Art Deco include symmetrical patterns, geometric shapes, use of layers, clean straight lines, and striking colors with contrast and accents. I know, doesn't that sound fabulous? We're going to have a whole lot of fun using these fabulous styles and characteristics to create the most beautiful jelly prints. So I hope you're going to join me. Right, so we're going to be using beautiful opulent colors and lots of metallics. <laughs> Yes, I'm a little excited about that. This is the paper I'm going to be using, the Japanese sketch paper. It's fabulous, great for jelly prints, and we're going to be using multiple layers of stencils and see how the prints come out. Now remember, if something doesn't work, don't stress out because it all makes absolutely fabulous collage paper. Now the thing is, are you going to be able to take me seriously with feathers in my hair? <laughs> I'm keeping them. I think I look good. <laughs> I think it suits me. Right, we're starting with some beautiful, rich gold. I'm putting it on my palette and rolling it onto the stencil to put the first layer onto the gel plate. I think we're going to definitely be doing two gel plates at the same time because we're going to have to have time in between for the drying. Now rolling it on the plate like that really is not the easiest way to get the paint on the plate when you're using a stencil like this. So sometimes, yes, I just cheat and use a brush. <laughs> Who says you have to roll it on anyway? Using a brush means you can push it into all of the beautiful shapes on the stencil and it just transfers the glorious color better onto the plate because sometimes the roller just doesn't get into all the intricate details, especially when there's one that's highly patterned like this one. Now the stencils I'll be using today will be from Piamata Studio. So make sure you have a look at their incredible range. And if you have a look in the description under the video, you will find the discount code. Because you know, I've got financial tips on this channel. <laughs> right, so I think that's going to be a lot better. I've just pushed it into the fine detail. Now, if your stencil's not really so detailed, it doesn't matter as much, but this stencil really is very detailed. The only problem is when you do something like this that it might be a little smudgy because yes, I pushed on the stencil with a brush, but meh, I'm not too worried. Smudgy really doesn't matter. We're just creating layers, patterns and textures and building up for an incredible, amazing print that will probably tear up in collage anyway. Look at that. That's just glorious. What a fun way to start. Now, of course, you can always turn the stencil over and print it onto another piece of paper because you'll have a lot of paint on the front of that stencil. So if you put it on another piece of paper, give it a wipe over like this, then you're actually transferring some of that paint onto the paper because you know, it's never cheap. So we like to use every single bit that we can. Sometimes it works amazing, sometimes it doesn't, but don't let that worry you. It all makes fabulous collage paper. So it transferred not too bad. Because I brushed it on, it had a slight layer of paint on it. And it looks quite interesting. That's pretty cool. We could use that. We could even spray it if we wanted to with a little bit of icing if we want to give it a bit of color. Or we can put another layer on it. I think we'll keep printing. Right, we're going to get a second plate going. 
because we have to wait for the drying time in between the layers. And that's really important if you want your beautiful colors to stay clean, you need to allow each layer to dry. So why is Napier the Art Deco capital of the world? <laughs> Well, in 1931, there was a horrendous earthquake that flattened the whole city. It absolutely devastated all of the region. And in the rebuild, Art Deco was what was in fashion. So the whole place has beautiful historical buildings from this time period. And what's really fun and what we learned yesterday on our fabulous tour was it's a very positive style. Glorious colors and textures and lines and shapes, a lot of metallics, a lot of beautiful opulence. So it was a great way to actually rebuild the city because it was all about picking ourselves back up, pushing on and enjoying life and vibrancy. All of the shapes on the buildings had specific symbols and represented different aspects about overcoming, achieving, pushing on and striving forward. Absolutely loved it. The tour was fantastic. <laughs> if you ever come to visit me, you really do need to take the tour. So this beautiful stencil looks absolutely glamorous on the plate there. We'll let these two layers dry and then we'll put the next shapes on. Right, now taking inspiration from this magnificent Art Deco hotel, I think we should go with the blues and the greens. What an opulent lounge this was. Yes, we did have lunch there. <laughs> I know, we're a little spoiled. So I'm going to put some circle masks on here just to protect some of these shapes and then roll the beautiful paint over and that will create another layer. And then we'll put a separate layer to pull the print. Now I'm going to put some of this magnificent green on and then perhaps mm, some of this blue. Oops, I just bumped it when I was rolling it. Oh well, not to worry. <laughs> And the paint got a bit thick because I was adding all the different colors. <laughs> but we'll leave it to dry and then we'll either put more shapes on or pull the print, I'm not too sure. Oh, but those colors, just fabulous. Right, well, I think magenta would look rather stunning with these patterns and colors. So let's pull this print with the magenta and see if that was a good idea or not. <laughs> you never quite know until you pull up the print if it was a good idea or not. And I think that's what I absolutely love about jelly printing is the excitement of the possibilities and the unpredictability. Right, paper on, magenta down. We'll give it a few minutes to grab those beautiful layers and then we'll see what we've got. Righto, let's look and see what we got. Ooh, the colors are looking good. Look how stunning they are. Yes, very reminiscent of the beautiful hotel where we had lunch. <laughs> Fabulous. Opulent colors with beautiful textures, very lavish. So what about this one? I'm thinking we should add some lines because Art Deco is very strong in straight lines. So let's put some on with some tape and then roll the paint over. We're basically using the fabulous tape as a mask to mask or stop the paint from this section of the print. I'm liking this idea. I'm going to put it in between where that pattern is, just so it makes more of an interesting uh, texture. Oops, wasn't really straight that time. And I don't want them to all be in the same place. And I'm going to vary up where they actually are in relation to each other. Few stripes, few lines. That'll be a whole lot of fun. 
and I think we should go with the green and blue. I wonder how it's going to look on the copper. I think it should look pretty good. Now you do have to be a little careful because I didn't stick them down hugely and there's a lot of paint on there so I have to be a little gentle. Loving the colour. Then as we pull the tape off, whoopsies, you can see. <laughs> Off comes my fabulous copper shapes. Didn't think about that actually. <laughs> oh well. You know what we could do? We could put another shape over the top. Okay. <laughs> Let's not get stressed about it. I was too excited about the lines to think about the fact that it would pull off the other colour. <laughs> the lines look great. Oh, we're just going to add another stencil over the top. We'll add another layer to it. You could actually use these for like washi tape. <laughs> That'd be fun. Right, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back with another layer. Right, seeing as this layer is dry now and I managed to pull off all my <laughs> pattern, I'm gonna put some more on. I'm going to use this stencil with these fabulous geometric square shapes. Yes, loving the geometric patterns today. With my Art Deco influence and we're using the rich gold. Oh, man, this is a glorious color. Then when this layer dries, hmm, I think I might pull it with some magenta. Ooh, yeah, baby, that'll look good. So we'll put the beautiful rich gold on. Then when that dries, we'll pull the print. Such a glorious opulent color. Yay, loving those shapes. Righto, we'll let that layer dry. Right, let's have a look now. I did have a sneak peek and it wasn't dry. <laughs> and it didn't want to come up. So we're having another go. I left it a bit longer. I know, I get really impatient. <laughs> That's the thing about these layered prints. You have to wait for them to dry because look, then they will come up off the plate a lot better. That's where it stuck before because I was being impatient. So hopefully the rest of it is dry and it's going to come off nicely. Look at the beautiful colour. Wow. This didn't turn out too bad. I'm really liking this groovy design. Have a look at that. The fabulous green. The emerald green with the copper. And then I've got some of the gold. Love the gold squares magenta and some copper in the background. Loving it, what a great print, so much fun. Of course, we don't have to wait for long drying times if we want to just print in a frenzy. <laughs> and that's what we really love about jelly printing is it's fast, it's furious, it's unpredictable, and you create the most incredible artworks and papers and textures that you can then build into other artworks and textures and glorious paintings. So I've put on some fabulous gold. Yes, I love it. And we're going to put a couple of stencils on my big plate here and then we're just going to keep printing on top of them and see how the layered shapes look. Now I'm going to use a couple of different pieces of paper and we're going to print in a frenzy <laughs> and see what we come up with because really you don't want to be thinking too hard or too much or waiting too long. Yes, I could just use one big piece of paper on my plate, but where's the fun in that? I want to see how many incredible layers I can create and how many beautiful prints we can make. Ah, look at the gold. Isn't it just glorious? Now, my jelly plate seems to be a little grubby, so it's got a little spicks and specks on it, but it really doesn't matter. 
And there's our glorious ghost print, which we all love the best. I'm going to leave that and then put another color on top. Right, that dried nice and fast. That's what we like. <laughs> what about some transparent red iron oxide? Let's put that down. Oh, look at that beautiful rich color. Oh, gotta love it. I don't want to pull it yet because I want to put some more layers on it. So I'm going to put the same stencils, but on the different sides. <laughs> Why not, right? And let's put the same pieces of paper down. Using the different stencils. I mean, you have to experiment, especially when you're jelly printing, you really don't have much to lose. You can only make a mess. It can only not work. That's looking pretty nice. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, it really doesn't matter because you're going to use it for collage paper anyway and you learn something. Even if it doesn't work out so brilliant, you're going to learn what not to do next time or what to do better or which colors work and which colors didn't work. It's all a process. It's all about making art and it's a whole lot of fun. That looks pretty cool. I'm thinking these prints are coming along nice. Now what should we do with that? We don't want to pull it just yet. What about some mm, magenta? I've got my palette here, but you know, it's already got copper and gold on it. Oops. And I didn't clean my brayer. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to roll right over and put some magenta into those places that we just pulled that color out of because I think it'll go nice with the colors that are on there. And then maybe, maybe, what should we pull it with? Ooh, what about some bronze? Yes. Now I just got some copper into my magenta there because it's on my palette. Not to worry, not to worry. All these colors are so rich and so beautiful. They're going to work really well together. Look how glorious that looks. Righto. Yay. And yay. Okay, let that dry and we'll pull that print. Right, so I'm thinking it's pretty dry. I'm going with the bronze iridescent fine. But then I thought maybe a darker color might show up the original gold. So I don't know, man, I couldn't decide. We're going with both. <laughs> the Quentin Violet and the iridescent bronze fine. And we're gonna see which side actually looks better and was a better idea because I'm just not sure. <laughs> You really do just have to try your ideas, hope for the best, <laughs> but don't stress out if it doesn't turn out exactly how you want because it's going to be beautiful anyway. Righto, so paints now. I'm going to use the wet strength tissue because I have some and it's the right size and it fits my plate. So there you go. Straight down with the tissue. We'll let that sit for a couple of minutes so that it can grab a hold of all of those beautiful layers of paint. And then we'll see what we've got. So the question is always, how long do you wait? I think I waited five minutes, although it felt like forever. <laughs> If you pull the paper off too soon, the paint is still wet and it stays stuck to the plate. If you wait for it to dry, then the top paint that you put on, which is wet and has the paper on it, will pull up all the underneath layers. But I do get a little impatient and I'm also not too stressed out if it doesn't quite work exactly the plan. <laughs> now, let's have a look and see. I'm using wet strength tissue. Oh, this end was dry. That section up there, not so much. And see how it's still stuck to the plate. It wasn't really completely dry, but look, it's mostly coming off. So that's dry enough. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Look at the glorious patterns. 
The colors are great and I'm loving the print. Ta-da, ta-da, that looks beautiful. It'll make fabulous collage paper. We're really going to have to create something with all these prints now, aren't we? Right, so how about we finish off these two prints? They're looking great, but they definitely need another layer. And I think we should up the temperature a little. Let's get a little bright <laughs> and loud with some beautiful orange, yay, and perhaps some Indian yellow. Man, that's gonna smarten things up. And yes, a little bit of magenta. So we'll put these colors on the plate. Let's put it on a couple of masks that just create some different shapes. And we'll put another layer on these prints. Now that color is absolutely beautiful and a whole lot of fun. Let's add this one on here and we'll add some of the square shapes on here. That seems fun. Right? And then we'll put these on and see how they look. These masks are gonna create great shapes on these prints and they'll just add another layer. The paint I put on is quite transparent, so you should be able to see the other shapes coming through. And that looks fun. Look how great those shapes are. Geometric shapes, we're all about it today. <laughs> and layers, lots of layers. So, you know, we're keeping in our Art Deco theme. Loving that, those colors are great. Those shapes are fabulous. Have we finished with them? Hmm, not sure. Now what's left on our plate? Oh, those colors work well. Perhaps we could add what's on the plate to these prints. They are the roll off prints that I used from the paper that I used earlier just to use the excess of the stencil. I know, it all makes fabulous collage paper. All right, what did we pick up from that? Oh yes, look. That put a beautiful mark on there. Loving those squares. Might have to use those again, that's pretty fun. What did this one pick up? Not too bad, not too bad. It just creates another layer, another texture, and our prints are looking beautiful. Let's have a look and see where we're at. This one needs some more down there, so we might do that again. That could do with another layer. That's pretty nice. This one's almost done. Well, I think we need hmm, maybe some gold or maybe that glaze. Ooh, that could work. Or some copper or something bright. Maybe we'll put some more yellow on it. Yeah, I think we should try that. Okay. So many options, so many decisions. We're going with some Indian yellow hue to, because it's beautiful and bright and transparent. And I think it would be really fun to add it to those other prints that are just needing a little something else. Let's go with the squares again. They turned out really well. And we might put this one on this side. Let's try this one down. We'll use up this section. And then this one needs this section. And maybe we'll just put this one in the middle, okay? <laughs> Let's put a little bit on each one and see how it looks. <laughs> it's a transparent layer of Indian yellow, so it should just slightly change all the colors, but it'll make them warm and vibrant. Oh yeah, it does. Love it. What did it do for this one? Oh yeah, that Indian yellow was a good idea. Gold, baby, she's gold. Love that too, very much. Actually, I think I like that one the most at the moment. Right, so we're going to have the ghost print underneath. What are we gonna put that on? 
I think we should definitely go over the top of this one with the ghost print and we're going to go that way. Righto. How much did that one pick up? Oh yes, liking that one. I think I'm finished with that now. That texture looks fabulous. Look at all the beautiful colours and textures. It's so glamorous. It was so much fun. I absolutely loved it. I think I like this one as one of the better ones, even though I did that bit of a faux pas, pulling half my pattern off with the tape. <laughs> It turned out really good because the gold squares on it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm just loving it. I love the colours and the texture and I like the way it's in the stripes. So, you know, even your accidents or your, and your oopsies can end up still producing beautiful prints. So don't panic if you do something wrong or muck it up or it doesn't go the way you want because in the end you can still create something absolutely beautiful. I love these ones as well. These colours are just so glamorous and look at all the beautiful geometric shapes of our Art Deco theme. This one is glorious. This one reminds me of the opulent hotel where we had our lunch because the fabrics on the furniture was just amazing. And all the deep rich emeralds and sapphire blues. Oh, just beautiful and I've absolutely loved it. Thanks for joining me today. Aren't the jelly prints absolutely fabulous? And the Art Deco style is just so glamorous. Yes, I know, it does suit me. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, for the fabulous new haircut. Now, if you want to know more about the stencils or the paints that I've been using, have a look in the description under the video. Don't forget there's going to be discount codes there for papers and stencils and prints and all sorts of things so have a little look especially if you want some more info i'll leave you with this video i know it's going to help your art making and i'll see you next time in the studio